Hello okay. everyone, and welcome to this Minecraft testing video. Although I am not on a server, I am joined on Skype by Great Chapel. Hello there. Hello, and um, BCD113, who does not have a microphone. Alright, so let's see where we are. He says quack. Hello. So, should fill with snow, should freeze, may not light, nothing should happen, nothing should happen. I assume uh, yes. that this yeah, is, are... this is a, pre a precipitation, um, a precipitation yeah. demonstration thing. Uh, this tower that we're assuming on right now, for testing purposes, uh, is currently, uh, between a, uh, uh, snow biome and a not snow biome. So, ah. when it finally does precipitate, we should be able to test all the aspects of it. Okay, so I'll hang out around here until it happens. Okay. Um, meanwhile, I, I set the, uh, the, the mobs on, because I had it on peaceful a second ago. Oops, I don't want to turn on, turn on the fog. Okay, there we go. So the first thing that I can easily show you guys while I'm standing right here is the achievements and statistics. Achievements are a new addition and can be viewed from your game menu. Right now I don't really have anything to show for. Um, taking inventory, press I to open your inventory, getting wood, etc. I'll probably be getting a few of those as the video goes along. Um, self-explanatory, one achievement leads to the next. I'm pretty sure it's a decent way to show the tutorial way it's like a tutorial of the game, really. Without having the game specifically, like, say, in the beginning, Hello, welcome to Minecraft, this is what you do. Um, let's see, next we have statistics, um, uh, which will show various stats. These are kind of, it's kind of a clean slate right now because they were just introduced, so... It doesn't look that impressive, despite the amount of work that we've done in Minecraft in the past. Um, so bear that in mind. And here we have general items. We've got our items uh, list here. We've got bed. Uh, let's see. No. I think the bed icon is for how many times you use a bed. Items depleted, zero. Items crafted, one. And I items used, or times used, one. Oh, wait. That's right, because I made a bed in the past. That's what that was. Alright, so that's achievements and stats. Um, what's next? What would you recommend I do next, Mr. Gray? Well, I've set up several stations that you can use to show off things, even if it's not precipitating. Oh! On my screen, it just started precipitating. Oh! So it should happen on yours very soon. Um, Alright, I'm keeping my eye poised towards the sky. However, uh, if that doesn't happen immediately, you can go check on the minecart system. Um, okay. I assume the minecart system is, is not going to take me off the tower or anything? Oh no, it, it should be right under that awning over there. Ah, uh, yeah, I see it. Alright, so okay, minecart uh, goes here. Oh yes, uh, minecart is over in the chest on that central. This, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep, one minecart. Ready oh, to go. And you should probably show off the uh, shift clicking. The what? Oh, the shift clicking. Yes, I I hear that if you hold shift and then click, it'll be brought into your inventory, so you don't have to drag it around. A useful addition should help think, keep things efficient. And while I'm on the here this menu here, it seems as though we've got um, some new items here, new saplings. If I'm gonna guess, that's a birch sapling, and that's a um a, a pine sapling, which you can now craft. Uh, not craft, but you can now obtain from um, the trees so that you don't immediately run out of them after you cut them down initially. So there's that. I I guess I can try planting them, and then... In if... fact, I have uh, places for you to plant them just on top of that all day. Oh! Okay, why don't I go do that right now while I'm thinking, while I'm on the subject, and then we'll get to the minecarts. Um, thus far, no rain. I'm gonna take some... Um, of the bones here, just to, you know, use for bone meal. That's what they're there for. Oh, and by the way, um, unrelated to the, um, to the update, but I have a slightly revised version of my skin, so it's a bit less amateur looking. And it uses layers for the head. Hurrah! 
Alright, now that I'm finished being distracted, let's go give these saplings a test drive. Oh, oh wait, another thing that we need to consider. What? Oh, there's the rain, there it is. Oh, hey. Ooh, that's pretty good. Nothing should happen, nothing should happen. Should not light, nothing. Indeed, the, uh, the water is not reacting. You should have to light the, uh, ah. wood. Indeed, it immediately went out. Should fill up with water. Okay, that's the water side. Also, and here's the snow we... side. The snow side should fill with snow. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. The water block should freeze. Um, the water block just froze before my eyes. May not light. I'm going to light that and see what happens. The, um, on the snow side, the block, the wooden blocks that I light on fire do in fact burn away. Snow is, does not put out the fire. Uh, the netherrack remains constant, and the um, the lava block remains constant. Okay. Let's see. Break also, dirt uh, to harvest. Uh, there should be a small awning um, that says "Things precipitation glitches through." Ah. Warning: extra torches will melt stuff. Sorry. Let's uh, see. Yeah. I half. Would it up better if it's nighttime. I don't know where Let's see. The, the half block. It doesn't appear to be glitching through the half block. Yeah, I, I noticed that. Uh, as it, with the ice, the ice is supposed to. Or on the wiki, it said that it glitches through, but it doesn't. So that's good to know. Not but ice, and not the half block, but the um, but the stairs and the uh, ice, uh, the glass block are both falling prone to it. Yes. Also, uh, the crops should be growing faster at the moment. It's hard to observe, but it they is were barely the, grown. Really. Thus far, I haven't really noticed anything, but I'll keep an eye on them. Okay. I hear a dog. Can I walk through doors and can get wet? Let's let's open the door and let the dog out. Oh wait, no, I can't. I can't get the dogs to get up because they belong to Gray. Uh, no, they don't. You should be able to right-click on them because it's one-player mode. They're not responding to my right-clicks. Oh. That is unusual. You learn something every day. Alright, that, uh, that's interesting to note. Dogs yeah. will remain loyal despite being in single-player. Oh, hey! The, um, the top of the, um... The top of our, um, cobblestone area is beginning to get snow on top of it, so snow is accumulating. Actually, I really like the way this looks. It's not like a, a thunderstorm or anything, which can also happen. Occasionally, you will get thunderstorms that appear, and the result is thunder and lightning causing different effects. Um, I think thunder, I mean lightning rather, will start fires, but the rain will immediately put it out. Although, if it's a snow biome, I think that might make things a bit more dangerous. Um... Apparently, it also turns pigs into zombie pigmen. And um, if there's a thunderstorm, the area will get darker and, and mobs will spawn. So let's see. Now that that has been observed properly, and yes, I can I can now attest that the crops are growing rather quickly. Um, the next order of business, I believe, is to get on with the saplings. Uh, now, there's another thing here that Notch apparently fixed, and it's the ladders, which means that I cannot climb up this system. But, I will craft some ladders. I left you wood in the chest, so you can do that. Much appreciated, sir. And, let's see. That, oops, that should probably do. I don't think I need that much wood. Um, so yeah, you have to use a, a straight um, column of ladders now, but use uh, crafting ladders will give you two instead of just one, which evens out the whole um, thing, so not to worry, it's still about equal. Now it just makes more sense. Okay, and now we should be able to climb. Success! Um, okay, so let's plant the birch tree first. Get our bone meal. Stand back. Boom! And there we go. There's some nice shelter from the snow and the rain. 
And the pine tree. This this is a bigger tree, if I recall, so this shot will be interesting. Bang. Ooh, yes. Let's step back and take a good look at that. Ow. Pretty nice. That's very, very nice to see, actually. So now we don't have to worry about running out, as long as we keep the saplings. Plus, it is nice to have more control over the variety of trees. Um... <coughs> Right, so what is left? Okay, back to the wheat again, which is growing. I can see the difference now. Um, break dirt to harvest wheat and seeds. Yes, uh, previously, if you attempted to harvest uh, wheat using water flowing over farmland, it would only uh, release the wheat, and you'd have to then... But you'd lose all the seeds involved in the process. Now, if you use water to break wheat, it will also give you the seeds. Hmm. So by... Now, when you say breaking the dirt, do you mean the dirt blocks that are above it, or the yes, dirt... Above yeah. It. Ah, yes. Now I see. Also, uh, good time to note this. Um... Movement through water is the same as it was before the 1.4 update. So, yeah, that's that's quite nice, because that was a previously. Yeah. And items apparently move through it faster than they used to. Hmm. Once the, uh, once the next block of wheat grows, I'll test that. Alright, so what's next? Oh, it's good to note that the, uh, that the rain doesn't put out torches. I was a bit worried about that, but... For anyone who is worried, I can safely show you right now that Marine does not put out torches. I am very thankful for that. Whoop! Whoops, I almost fell. Um, okay. So now that we've shown all of that, um, and it looks like... Hmm. Um, never mind. I thought I saw a difference in the, um in the precipitation gauges, but we'll get back to that later. Next it's time to show off the mine carts. Hi. So let's see, I've got my mine cart here. Um, the cart goes here. I assume the cart's supposed to go on the slope? Correct. And it's stopped by this new block here, yes. which is, um, I believe it's a powered, uh, a powered track? Indeed. You you uh, use um gold and redstone to make it. I left you the supplies so you can show them how to make them. Sure. Shouldn't be too hard. Um so let's see. If my assumptions on this are correct, you would put you would need six gold bars, columns on each side, a wooden stick in the center, and then redstone at the bottom. Yes, and you make powered rails. Um, now I believe an unpowered rail stops a minecart as it stops it on the slope like so. And if I were to hit the button here, the minecart would proceed to move. Um, accelerated, in fact, if I recall. Um, before we do that, though, let's see what the other tracks, uh, the other pieces on this track are. We've got an another block here, which I believe is a, um, it's like a pressure of uh, track, what is it called again? Yeah, a a de detector track. A it's detector basically track. Basically, a yes. pressure plate for mine carts. So. Hmm. So, oh, oh, I see. So, when uh, this particular system you have here, the the, um, the mine cart would proceed onwards, and then when it hits that button, it would activate the um, the powered track, which would accelerate it further, until it yes. eventually hits the end here and at the end of the unpowered um, track, and the cart would stop. So sure. let's test that briefly. Ah, not bad. That went exactly as planned. This time I will try it one more time. And I am going to, um, just for the sake of making the, it easier to see, I'm going to give myself a bit of fog here, so... Come on. Just so it's the it's a bit smoother... Ah, yes, there we go. Much more efficient than creating boosters or having to use coal-powered um, furnace 
minecarts, which I've never found in the application for. Hmm, and I see snow collecting on top of the birch tree. <laughs> um, so far, the there um a single layer of snow has filled up that snow block that said should fill up with snow, and on the other side, um, the area that's supposed to fill up with water has not done so yet. I'm assuming yeah. that has to wait. I'm assuming that that'll wait until after the rainstorm is over. Um, no, it, it hasn't filled up on mine either, and the rain has stopped on my screen. Um, uh, well, it it's still going on here, so maybe yes. it just needs a specific amount of time or something. I'm not certain. Uh, it said that it is supposed to fill up small holes, but I'm not so certain now. So I have no way to show that off. Hmm. Sorry. Fair enough. Oh, and again, relating to the wolves, now that I see the sign, um, they won't whine if they're at decent health. So now they'll just bark and be all merry and cheerful. Alright, let's get our render distance back, even though I think the, uh, the fog actually looks really nice in this weather. Um, yeah, it's really trippy if you look up right into the rain. Ha! <laughs> okay. So then, what's next on our list? Is there anything uh, I haven't covered yet? Uh, the only two things that you could possibly cover are um, you could either show them how some of the achievements work, or and or you can go take your flint and tinder and burn a pig. Ah, okay. Um, although there's one more thing I should probably do while I'm thinking about it, and that is I should craft a um, a <coughs> pressure plate track. Ah, uh, yes. Though. So let's see. You require iron for that, right? Iron. Um, you need a pressure plate of some kind. Will, uh, will wood pressure plates do? Uh, no, you need to use a stone one. Oh, I'm sorry. I could have sworn I had included those. Um, well, let me try wood just to see. I'm, I'm curious. For science! So it's... Oh. Also, uh, VCD notes that uh, it is apparently oh. easier to catch fish while it's raining. Oh. Uh, do I have a fishing rod? No. I think you guys will have to take my word on take my word for that because I do not have a fishing rod. Um, let's see. All right, so let me try to just briefly do this. Um. So in order to craft it, you need a pressure plate on the bottom, right? A pressure plate on the bottom... No, put pressure plate where the stick would normally be. Oh, and then you require redstone, right? Yes, redstone, just like the power tracks. Ah, okay. But you can use iron instead, or gold. Alright, take three. And the wooden pressure plate does not work. Okay. You do, in fact, need cobblestone for that. But fortunately, okay. we happen to be surrounded by cobblestone, so I'm uh, just going to... No, not quite. Not cobblestone. You have to make it using smooth stone, but, um... Well, go it... downstairs, I'll kind of ruin the magic of everything. But, um... Ah, yes. Chef's on the far left once you get down the stairs. Okay. Ah. The music is playing. That's lovely. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, my... This is a very beautiful assortment of materials you have here, sir. Thank you. Are these infinite blocks? Uh, the ones in the far right chest are. But ah. uh, far left has um, some solid stone that you can use. Uh, yes, I do see the solid stone. Oh, I just see I see a, a solid I see a stone pressure plate, so that should solve it. Oh, just grab that. Though. Yeah. Um. Okay. So take four. And presto! Let's just, let's just lay these out in the track and see how they look. Also, um, you may but a word of warning. Right now, apparently, uh, detector uh, rails are very, very buggy. If you attempt to place one next to or or in series on a minecart track, it will probably crash the game. Ooh. So, um, Alright, so I'm not going to do that. Can you show me a way that would be safe? Uh, yes. If you place the detector track 
and then the uh, uh, minecart tracks, it should not crash the game. But okay, let's let's hope that glitch gets fixed soon. And I'm sure it will. Let me just make craft some generic tracks then. And yep, that did not crash. And now I will just add some powered tracks on this temporary rail for lols. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised that it's still raining and snowing. But hey, it looks nice, so. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's see. You said that it would be a good idea to go light a pig on fire? Correct. Okay. I are those spawners down there capable of spawning pigs? Like uh, the ones that you left you, you left some spawners in the chest. I did. I did not know that. Who is that? Yep. Uh, uh monster spawners. Do those spawn Chances are then yes. That that should only spawn pigs then. Okay. There's no grass up here though. Uh well, there might be grass in the chest. Yeah. Uh let's find out. Uh, a lot of uh, diamond the middle swords. of that creepy three long chest. The Should middle. It? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I just didn't By see it. By the way, it. people, ignore the glitches and infinite items. Um, <laughs> you don't see that. Yeah, th 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 this this is just for the sake of making it easier to show you, fellows. Okay, that should be enough. And now to lay the spawner down. Pop. There you are, Piggy. Time for you to burn. Which, by the way... Oh, there he goes. He's burning. Uh, hey. If you attempt to light a pig on fire and then he goes into the rain, the rain should put him out. Mm, or you light yourself on fire, for that matter. We're on the floor beneath, however. Yes. Um, but... And yes, he did, in fact, drop um, cooked meat. So I guess this is a way to save uh, resources if you happen to have a flint and tinder on you. It is still raining and snowing. Uh, then go upstairs and light yourself on fire. Okay. Let's find out. Um, okay. Burn me, burn. I didn't even... Uh, hang on. I actually need to light myself on fire first. I, I think the, I think that... This, Okay, I gotta light myself on fire and then run upstairs. That's what I gotta do. There we go. And it works! Uh, rain will put out your own fire. And now I have a good use for the cooked meat that I already ate, and I was stupid. Um, well, I'll just burn another- Ow! I'll just burn another piggy. Also, BCD, um, I was finding your situation very amusing. That's suggesting you burn yourself in various different ways. But... I'm not surprised. Although it should be interesting to note that it seems as though the pigs have, um, the pigs have, um, consistently been dropping one piece of coat meat, so that is, yeah. that is interesting to note that I suppose that if you do burn them, you only get one cooked meat as opposed to doing it the normal way and getting various amounts of meat. So there is something to consider, I suppose. I could be wrong, but yeah. And the precipitation has stopped, so let's see. The one that was supposed to fill up with snow filled up, um, well, didn't fill up. It, it, it just oh, I just got two pieces of cooked meat. Created a layer. Oh, okay, so then never mind. Um, in that case, if you happen to have a flint and tinder on you, um, let your inner pyromaniac go crazy. Um, and the block that was supposed to fill it with water did not. So uh, they... Yeah. Yeah, so apparently that... Either that has certain circumstances to it, it's varied whether or not it works or whatever, but it didn't for me. If it does work for you, let me know in the comments. Anyway, yes, so ice formed, snow is left, um... Various fires that were supposed to, that were burned, were either put out or not, depending on the biome. So, is there anything else yet left to cover? Um, 
side from some stuff that's not actually in the game yet? No. So, or one second here. Uh, I don't think we can really show that, but apparently unarmed damage has been increased from uh, half a heart to one heart. So you can kill things faster with your bare hands. Mm, such as chickens. Apparently. Oh, and axes, notably, have also had their damage increased. So. Well, you uh, gave me a diamond uh, axe, so let me just ravage these um, pigs. It takes two hit the ki hits to kill the pigs that are now dominating this um, cobblestone base that you've given us. It does plow right through them, though. I would still recommend a sword anyway, but I think it's a bit more realistic now. Um, yes. So. Also, uh, let's see here, what else? Um, Do you leave me any oh, eggs? Saplings. Saplings can now be used as fuel. Yes, although most things can, like, I think they have the same amount of fuel efficiency as, um, sticks do. Yeah, so they're not really that great, but S if you're in a bind. Yeah. Although, it would probably be a bit more logical to, um, to just burn whatever wood you got from a tree. It would be more efficient, too, because if you burn the saplings, you don't get to grow them into new trees to use as fuel. It's good to have the option, but it's probably best not use, just for the sake of efficiency. That's just what I would say, though. If you want to burn saplings, then by all means, be my guest. Um, I suppose there's one last thing I can do before I end this, and that is to... I guess I can go chop down the trees that we grew and see them, the saplings that we can collect... And then also, I, yeah. Our BCD says um, that you should talk about AB. Oh yeah, I'll deal with that. And oh hey, I got an achievement for cutting down trees. Achievement get get wood. Uh, wood. So yeah, there's the achievements in action. Um, die tree, die. There we go. The pine tree never knew it was coming. And we have, as a result, gotten pine saplings. Okay, so while I cut down this birch uh, tree, I'll start saying a few more announcements to anyone who's interested. It's not necessarily related to the update, but um, first concerning Minecraft, and then I'll get to AB afterwards. Um, first concerning Minecraft. Um, for the applications that I've been getting for joining the um, Airship Madness server, um, I have been getting them. I... Nothing new has really happened yet. We're still kind of sorting things out. Um, we've got a few things planned for the server, but um, due to delays, like people not being free and uh, the, the recent release of Portal 2, um, people just are a bit occupied with other things right now. Um, and BC Woman 3's laptop um, breaking on them. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that. There are delays. There's not much I can do about them. But we are going to see new content coming soon. Um, so that should be it as far as Minecraft is concerned. Um, next up, I want to say that I should have more time to film other um, Let's Play episodes. Um, because my semester has actually ended as... Well, it will end as of tomorrow. Or today, according to when this is uploaded. Um, so uh, after that, I'll be moving back to my... Um, to my old place where I have my video game consoles, so I'll finally be able to actually record new uh, Mother 3 and uh, Majora's Mask content. So that'll be on its way soon. Um, and last but not least, um, as per BCD 113's request, um, talking about um, AB, or Anime Boston. Um, the two of us will be going there this weekend, so... Um, if anyone's happening, if anyone's just so going, we might end up meeting, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, I guess we'll see what happens. Um, we'll be going as our, apparently we're, uh, according to, uh, BC Woman 3's idea, we're apparently going as our Minecraft characters, which is basically just me with a, uh, with a shovel. <laughs> and, and he's going with like a, a pickaxe that he personally made. So there's that to consider should you happen to be in the area. 
Um, was there anything else I wanted to say before I ended this? Uh, no, I think that's it. So, um, yeah, that's it, everyone. Kind of a long video, but I believe we've covered everything. Um, so, until the next update of whatever I happen to update. Um, until then, everyone, this is Artwick of Annette with Grey Chapel. And BC113. Um, stay tuned and good night, everyone.